remember when I was little, around four or five years old, I got my ears pierced. As a kid who dreamt of having my ears pierced, that day was one of the happiest days of my life. I remember waking up extremely early that morning, putting on my prettiest dress, and going to the salon. However, the whole process was not what I had pictured. The pain I felt made me burst into tears, and I just wanted to stop. When I said that I didn't want to get my other ear pierced, I remember the exact words the lady told me very clearly till this day. She said, you should get your other ear pierced. You don't want to look like a gay person, do you? At that moment, in my mind, all I wondered was, what is gay? Is it something bad? A few years later, in elementary school, I was taught by my schoolmate that the word gay was a curse word. It was a word that referred to the outcasts, the weirdos, and the creeps of our society. And if someone calls you gay, you would be socially doomed. Learning about the LGBT community in such a way growing up, it shocked me when I first discovered that these people were really not much different than everyone else. They were just expressing themselves. They were just being proud of who they were. I personally was introduced to the LGBT when I first went to the United States in 2016 and saw all the beautiful rainbow flags adding color and beauty to the dull streets of San Francisco. Later on in middle school, I was privileged enough to learn what the community was actually about, but the LGBT in Mongolia are still very misunderstood. The ones that came out to the public are being beaten up, called by brutal slurs, harassed and discriminated against. During the Pride Days in the Lambathar, the community faced more hate than support. Citizens made non-stop homophobic comments on social media platforms, and bus posters only saying love is love were torn down and thrown away. Such actions have made me realize that our country isn't the open-minded country that I once believed in, but it was also an extremely discriminatory one. I keep asking myself, why is this happening so often and so much in my country? We're a welcoming country when it comes to other races and nationalities, but why do we discriminate against other sexualities? A few years ago, when I went to the teacher's room at my school to ask about some homework, I overheard a conversation. Then this exact sentence caught my attention. A student from my class just came to me and said that they're gay. But it's just a phase, though, isn't it? Kids do this when they're not receiving enough attention from their parents. The student's classroom teacher was telling other teachers in that room about their student's sexuality just like that. At that moment, my heart sank. Not only did the teacher break their student's trust, but they also had a huge misunderstanding about the LGBT. I, as an individual, as the friend of a queer, as the citizen of this country, don't want our future generation to continue on having these misunderstandings about the community. Misunderstandings and ignorant statements such as homosexual relationships are only about intercourse. Teens do this to get attention from their parents. It's just a phase, it's just a new trend, and Mongolia's population will no longer rise. Homophobia is an issue that affects all of us. If being homosexual or transsexual was a choice, why would anyone willingly choose a life that's harder? What we need right now is a movement for the community's safety. So I have an idea on how we could start that. We need to be loud about it. We need to be proud of who we are. The community needs to constantly remind the citizens of this country that we and they are a part of this country and will always be. Marsha B. Johnson, a black, queer, and trans activist once said, as long as gay people don't have their rights all across the globe, there is no reason for celebration. We need to, take, we need to start taking actions now or else we, and also the future of Mongolia, will continue to live with an ignorant and misguided understanding of the community. I would like to end my speech here by putting a stake on the ground at TEDx, and I will continue to be a part of this expedition for equality. 
At the end of the day, though, no matter our race, gender, religion, nationality, or sexuality, love is love. <laughs> <laughs>